You know, it's been a fun, interactive process. I think there's a little intimidation because, you know, Unleash the Fire seemed like it went together really quickly and it was well received. And so whenever you have an album that's well received, you're kind of like, okay, now we have to follow it up. And so there's that fear that, you know, maybe you can't, can't do it again. But uh, we're starting to have some confidence. You guys seem to like the song, so I guess we did all right. Well, these guys are difficult to please. They know what a good melody, good lyrics, and all of that stuff is. So for me to be able to get something that they approve of is, was a big accomplishment for myself, and, and not, not an easy one. Oh my God, it sounds just like, you know, some Rob Helford would write. And I was like, really? I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know, I, don't, I don't think I sound like Rob Helford at all, but I think they thought there was an energy and a vibe there. It sounds like something from the riot tradition of the power metal back then, but, you know, even fresh uh, today. Um, the melodies are the same. The music is very aggressive, uh, sometimes technical in spots, but we, we never lose focus of a song. Um, with a melody where you can walk away from it humming in your head, so we try to convey that, you know. Um, you, don't, you don't want your average record, you don't want to step down, you want to always go to the next level. We think that um, you know, we've achieved that with this one. Um, it's got a little bit of everything. It's got some, uh, besides power metal, it's got, uh, uh, you know, some straight ahead rock songs. Um, and. Uh, I think it's just a great follow-up to, to the last record. You know, one of the things that's interesting is, I think as a band, we want to feel like we are, we are a, a vital and, and a live unit. It's not like you get in the studio for seven days and bang out a record. You know, it's like a real serious thing for us to do this kind of thing, and it's, it's, it's a lot of tweaking, a lot of manipulation, and we're all very imaginative, all of us, so we all have a, a lot of creativity, just have to get it all going and flowing in the right, the same direction. It was a good follow-up, so I think there's a lot more blood and sweat and tears, a lot of tears, you know, just, just kind of grinding and making sure it's, it's good. We still pretty much always close with, uh, you know, Warrior is one of the last two songs we play, and that's from the first album. Um, but I think it shows you that a great melody and a great melodic hook, it makes for a great classic song. It just never, you know, it's never not a good song, you know. Right?